10 smart performance hacks for faster Python code. If you're doing a lot of membership lookup, lists are actually fairly expensive, and you'd be surprised how often the order of things really isn't important in your code. And if the order isn't important, you can get away with using a set, and that might boost your lookup performance. Pointer number two is to avoid unnecessary copies. This seems like an uh, duh kind of suggestion, but when you're not thinking about it, it's more common to end up with copies of containers than you might think. In-place edits can be several orders of magnitude faster than a copy and edit, and this often pops up if you're a data science person, since most data frame libraries do the opposite and they copy everything, which is fine, they're optimized for that, but if you take the same approach in native Python code, you might be slowing things down. In fact, I ran into this recently with one of my libraries. There was a need to copy, and so I just by default deep copied everything, and it bogged it down horribly, and then I figured out, no, no, wait, I only really need to deep copy one in 10 of these things. So an easy performance boost for me was not to do the other nine. The last one I want to talk about is the iter tools module. It has functions like product permutations and combinations, and they're all highly efficient. Sometimes switching to a functional programming paradigm can mean a lot of speed up, especially if you're converting a plain Python loop into a composable iterable approach. And that kind of stuff can lead you towards things like parallelism, which talks about both speed up and concurrency. The other performance hints are when to use the math module, dunder slots, pre-allocating memory for certain data types, avoiding exception handlers in some cases, using local functions in tight loops, the bisect module, and avoiding repeated functions inside of tight loops. If you need to do performance tuning on your code, Dido's article is definitely worth checking out. <laughs> 